For decades now, if not generations, folks have been making their way to Pigeon Forge each and every spring, each and every summer, and in turn, making memories for themselves and their entire families. And joining us now to talk more about Pigeon Forge and what it has to offer is Sue Carr. Sue is representing Pigeon Forge. First of all, Sue, good morning. Good morning. So glad to be with you. Pigeon Forge has grown by leaps and bounds over the past several years. What's the appeal, if you had to boil it down, for the entire Pigeon Forge area? You know, we are turning 60 this year, so for six generations, people have been visiting the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, and we were a stop through on the way too, but now we're a vacation destination. And I think part of that is the friendliness and the way people were treated. As they stopped, it made them want to stay in Pigeon Forge, and Pigeon Forge has grown since that time to become more than 80 attractions, shopping, dining, uh, you know, Dollywood, all these things that now folks can consider us that destination of choice. Dining is going to be one of the things that I did want to discuss because the food choices throughout the Pigeon Forge area literally doesn't matter what your taste is, they've got something to fit the bill. Roughly how many restaurants do you have around Pigeon Forge? We have almost 70 restaurants in Pigeon Forge, which wow. is truly amazing. And when you think we're only five miles long, so that's a, that's a lot of restaurants. You don't have very far to go to find something absolutely delicious. And you are, I don't know how many millions of people hit Pigeon Forge each and every year, but I bet you've got a good idea. Well, I do. We actually, the National Park sees over 12 million visitors each year, and those folks are just passing through or staying in Pigeon Forge. So, you know, we are so excited to welcome each and every family to Pigeon Forge, and hopefully they return and consider themselves just part of our Pigeon Forge family. Tell me what's new and exciting at Pigeon Forge as we head through the rest of 2021. Some exciting things. Over at the island in Pigeon Forge, we have the new Skyfly, which is a sensory uh, ride that moves and has smell. And you're going to be traveling the national parks throughout the United States, so you'll be soaring over them. And then uh, we have opening uh, this week, actually, we have the Toy Box Mini Golf, which is a retro mini golf that is like being in a toy box from the 80s and 90s. So you're going to see those 20 foot rock'em sock'em robots <laughs> and Stretch Armstrong and the toy soldiers so excited about that. All and right. if you're an adrenaline junkie yeah. and you wanna go up 200 feet in the air and they will face you down and then let you go and you are swinging out. So for those folks who enjoy those adrenaline rushes, we have the ride for you, the mountain monster. And there are so many other things in and around the Pigeon Forge area. They've got the Camp Margaritaville RV Resort. Tell me what that is. We only have a few seconds left, but Camp Margaritaville. Right. It's a brand new uh, campground resort that's opening up early summer. And, uh, you know, camping is a big deal right now. Uh, I think camper sales are going uh, through the roof. Sure. So, you know, we have wonderful camping opportunities and all lodging opportunities here in Pigeon Forge. It's uh, certainly a very scenic, very wonderful and extremely family friendly place to visit. Sue Carr, thank you so much for joining us. We will talk over the coming weeks. Now, you can find out more about what's happening at Pigeon Forge. Go to mypigeonforge.com. That's mypigeonforge.com.